Howdy y'all, it's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you Android 2.2 Froyo running on my iPhone 2G. Now earlier this week I showed you Android 1.6 and just today, um, Thursday July 15th at the time of this recording, um, earlier today um, they released, well there isn't really a they because it's pretty much a community thing and whoever has some stuff they just release it and so anyway they being the community they released a test build of 2.2 over at the iDroid project forums so it was really easy for me to install I already had 1.6 on here so all I had to do was download the files for 2.2 and then transfer them over and overwrite the files for 1.6 and then boot it and everything just works and I had to manually install the Google apps on there so all those are working just fine so I'm gonna take my iPhone 2G and power it off so the phone is off so I'm just gonna push the power button and here we are at the usual open iBoot menu I'm gonna push the volume up button to go up to the Android OS, push the home button to select it. Okay, so we're finally booted, and the boot animation that you just saw um, came from a different build of Froyo. I had to ADB over Wi-Fi to transfer the proper boot animation.zip over to the phone. Um, ADB is pretty much like um, SSHing if you're familiar with jailbreaking an iPhone or if you're used to any of those sorts of commands. So here we are at the lock screen. We could slide this if we want to switch to... Um, silent. Now once it actually gets to the lock screen it sort of takes a little bit before it uh, wakes up so to speak. So so we're gonna try it again just slide it to the left. It's a little bit smoother this time so we're just gonna unlock it and as you can see I'm already associated with AT&T and my Wi-Fi network automatically on boot unlike the last video where neither one of those automatically connected so here is the notification bar that you slide down I don't really understand what this is talking about regarding data roaming because I can't see the rest of it so we'll just clear it out and here are my home screens it's pretty choppy isn't, there isn't really any point in using all of this. Um, you see it's automatically pulling in news. So let me go to the um, list of applications right here. And as you can see there's some duplicates like for the camera, the clock, email, gallery, music. Don't know why this is happening but it's happened to other people before so hopefully they're working on some sort of fix now keep in mind that all of this stuff is still bleeding edge um, probably in a couple of weeks there's going to be an easy installer to put 2.2 Froyo on an iPhone 2G so I'll post a link in the description whenever that happens you could also follow me on Twitter if you want the latest updates on this stuff um, let's go into the browser really quick so I can show you that the internet works and I'm also going to say that text messaging and calling also works just fine I don't even know if I tapped it or not still waiting for it to go to the browser don't really know what happened right now works before um, actually I don't think I even tapped it because I went back to the home screen instantly so I'm just gonna tap on this browser button in the dock I guess I guess that's what it is okay now we're going I just didn't tap it before I guess So 
So you can see that it's trying to load google.com and it's slowly getting there. And there we go, we are at google.com. And let me go ahead and tap on the news just to load another page. And there you go, so the internet works via Wi-Fi. It still doesn't work over cellular data, so not too big of a deal, but overall 2.2 is a big improvement over 1.6. Um, there's a lot of cool things about it that I like, like some of the animations and stuff. It's rather slow on the phone, but if you're on a faster device like the Nexus One, it would probably be perfectly smooth, so I like the animations a lot. I'm just going to force quit out of uh, whatever this is. Um, I don't really know what's happening right now, but okay. So now we're back, and I'm just going to go back to my list of applications, and I'm going to go to settings. Just going to show a couple more things. Now I do have the market on here, but I can't install any apps because the SD card emulation currently isn't working. So if I go to SD card. It's not going to show anything where in 1.6 it mounts the the media partition of the phone as the SD card. I'm just going to go to about really quick. The model number is the iPhone 2G. I'm on Android 2.2. I'm using DD's kernel. And yeah, overall everything seems okay. It's a little bit smoother and, um, or not smoother, it's a little bit slower than 1.6 was on my iPhone 2G. But it's a lot cooler because you know you have your video, video wallpapers which actually don't work on here. If I try to go to one like the grass it will crash as you see there. So that was it for this video. If you like what you see go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Hopefully you could subscribe first and do the other two if you want. Um, so yeah, you can follow me on Twitter if you like, twitter.com slash bsweet as always. And you can visit our website over on the web at gumballtech.com. And what I'm doing right now is just rebooting it manually like you just saw. We're back at the open iBoot menu and then I'm just going to go and see the iPhone OS. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.